Uh oh, priest. It's a tough class these days. So, game seven here, we're against Legend. Not only is he a priest, but he's a legend. Um, unfortunately, while this is a two and a three, it's not a great combination since the cleric's battle cry would be ideal to play on a minion. On the other hand, if we drop this and we don't get a two, we're in an even worse spot. Also, Frostbolt is a good way to counter a uh, Northshire cleric if they don't buff it the same turn. Hello. So, I will keep it. Hmm. So, don't have a real two play, no point in frost bolting the enemy hero. And unfortunately means we have to cleric probably without using her bow cry, which is unfortunate. Looks like he's debating playing or healing himself. There's Cleric, please don't powered shield. Awesome. That worked out great. In fact, we drew an apprentice so we can make our frostbolt cost one and cast both. So yeah, Northshire Cleric is one of the strongest priest cards. You can see the ability is when a minion is healed on either uh, you or the opponent's side, you draw a card. So one of the strongest early priest plays is to play that and at the same turn use a powered shield to make it five health, which is virtually impossible to deal with. Is that a silence or something? Uh, so this is a good play. Because his dude is a 2-3, we can make this a 3 or 4-3 and not kill it. Or not lose our dude. So, so far, we are one card ahead, which is awesome. He's going to coin out a five. Commando. So he will get a two for one for that. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's, what can you do? So here I think we'll play with five. Next turn we'd have six mana, so we could do the Archmage, or the Water Elemental and a ping, or Fireball and a ping. And we'll trade the Cleric for his higher damage dude. So, card advantage is even now. He got a two for one there, we had a two for one earlier. Another oh, Tarn Warrior. People use that card a lot, and it's not very good. Like you can see, this costs three mana, and it's a two-three. So I don't know. Um, so we have a couple options here. Basically, it revolves around whether we suspect Holy Nova or not. So, if we attack it with the four-four and keep both our dudes alive, this will be at two health, and it can be Holy Nova. Whereas if we send the 2-2 two, two in and ping it, this would not be Holy Nova-able. Holy nova -able. So... But the other, the other consideration is we could play a 6. I think I'll play it safe in terms of Holy Nova protection. A 4-4 four, four, and a 3-6 on the board with nothing for him, I think is pretty strong. Glory to the Sindora. Alrighty. Blood Knight. So you can see this guy. He's a 3-3. Three, three. But when he's cast, 
He destroys divine shields that are active and he gains th plus three plus three for each shield. So he can be really good if there's divine shields, but otherwise he's pretty mediocre. Anyway, the plays obviously kill him with our three six. This has three health remaining, so it survives Holy Nova, which is fine. And then we'll play Archmage, which is a potential um, mind control target another turn from now when he has eight mana. But it's not a great one. And I see no reason to play Mirror Image now. It would just be taunting nothing. So he's going to buff that. Yeah, okay. He has to buff it, really. So, I think here we fireball the 6-6. Six, six. We can actually do 7 to it. And then we just kill this with a couple of our dudes. Preferably this one and this one, so that this is not Holy Nova range. So it wastes one more damage on the hero, but that's okay. So I think this is fine. And since Crusader has a Divine Shield and protects her from Holy Nova, I will play her as well. Also, there's something to be said for keeping your minions somewhat lower in health when you're approaching mind control range like that against a priest, such that it's a little bit easier for you to kill the opposing minion if they decide to go for it. Alrighty, so uh, we have a couple choices here. But because that gives spell damage, I think we have to kill it this round. Because if, if he has a Holy Nova, this stuff will die to it. It'll be three damage. So that means sending these two in, this will die, this will survive, but it'll lose its shield. And then we play another Archmage and ping him for one. And again, I see no reason to mirror image. The only thing it would protect us against is a Argent Commander, which is the 4 3 charge with Divine Shield. Alright, there's a Commando, so. He probably won't get a 2 for 1 this time because we can kill it with a 4 7 unless he buffs it or something. Another thing that's really strong against priests is minions with four attack. Because they cannot be shadowward pained or shadowward deathed. They're right in that sweet spot. So anyway, I'll kill that with this. This will be at three health. So again, it's out of Holy Nova range. And there's no reason to use any of the board clears. Or, you know, it's all board control. So nothing to control right now. I could have obviously kind of colded that, but that's a one for one, and right now we're at a we're at a you know net gain. He didn't lose or we didn't lose a card yet. So he's gonna play everything he's got, looks like. Okay. Powered shield, all this stuff, jeez. Okay. So gotta think a little bit about this. Um, if we if we owl this, it becomes a three two again. What to do? What to do? But that's not great. The other option is to owl this. So it drops its taunt. 
And then this thing dies to Blizzard and Cone of Cold. Eh, that's kind of a waste. All right, so either way, I silence this, this guy and I Blizzard. Um, he's going to heal that raptor, I think. But that would be okay. It would only be for two. So I'm going to avoid attacking into it. Because he's gonna have to decide which of these to heal or himself, unless he has a, you know. Wow. Rag is really gonna be tough for me to deal with. I have no polymorph. That might be the game. <laughs> uh, let me think here. Flame strike's really good. I think the play is flame strike, ping this to finish it, and mirror image. That would give me five potential targets for Rag's shot. Uh, yes, that is. Oh, I don't even have to ping that because it's five damage because of spell power. I keep forgetting I have spell power. I can almost kill Rag, actually. I could kill him. Oh, well, I'm stupid. I should just kill him. <laughs> I don't know why I'm screwing around. Now I... Will I play Mirror Image? Yes. Yes, I think I need to protect that. In case he does draw Argent Commander or something with charge. Obviously, Holy No would take these out, but I think I have to risk it because this guy's pretty much all I got now. Oh man, I need another silence and I don't have anymore. Now, I guess he's playing risky though. If I had a Pyre Blast or Fireball, he'd be dead. I might have another Fireball. Oh, there it is. Awesome. So let's just pretend if we had not drawn that, what we have done here. Probably double cone of colded and then pinged and killed one. So that would have been four damage. These would be one ones because they light spawn. Minions attack is equal to its health. So it, they both go down. And then I would uh, ping one, kill the other one so we couldn't heal it and make it stronger. I would have cleared his board and he would have been at two cards. I would have been at three cards when I drew. Well, four if you count these. So yeah, we would have been okay. Anyway, it looks like I'm being bad mannered since I had that on my hand. <laughs> but I swear I wasn't, guy. I'm sorry. Well, that went about as well as it could against a priest. Uh, and you can see he still got pretty close there with that Molten Giant and the uh, Ragnaros. Ragnaros is an insane card. But luckily we just had enough damage to finish it off. Hero Owl. <laughs> Doing the extra two we needed so we could keep our spell damage guy. And I'll be honest, I'm surprised how much value the Archmage has been getting. Especially in that game. Oh man. Well, game number eight against another priest. The good news is seven and zero, oh, so at least I'm profitable, and I can afford to lose a couple. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. going second, no blizzard, probably no cone of cold. Maybe could hold the Kodo. I could play it on four, worst case scenario. 
So yeah, I'll do that. Ah, crap. That's bad. Hello. Greetings. <laughs> okay. Uh, no reason to coin out the ooze. Hopefully he doesn't cleric power shield. Good, he doesn't even have a two play. Fine by me, sir. Or ma'am, I don't know. I always refer to people, if you watch my videos you may notice, I just refer to them as male because it's simple in terms of, uh, you know, memory. <laughs> My brain is slow, but there's no reason to assume. All right, so I don't really have a play for three, so he doesn't have anything on the board, so might as well arcane intellect while we can. Okay, and then next turn, if you play some weak, we'll Kodu with the coin. That'd be awesome. All right, so he's just gonna copy our move. Oh no, mind vision, that's bad. So hopefully he got, well, just about anything is pretty good. Probably the worst thing he could have gotten, or the best thing rather for us is mirror image. Worst thing would be a flame strike. <laughs> uh, yikes. Oh, I have a hidden card. That's not good. All right, so no reason to get the Kodo out with nothing to kill. So we'll play Lone Golem. Holy cow. Wish I had Mere Entity then. <laughs> That's going to be really difficult to deal with. I'll have to fireball it. Send this guy in. Which is basically a two for one for him. I mean, we don't lose all of our Golem card, we get this guy, but. Can I get this mirror entity and flame strike over one another? Um, I could play the Sunwalker before he can mind control. It might be okay. Truth is my shield. It's risky. The other option was to reckless racketeer, send that in both of those into it. So if he doesn't play a ton of his own, or in, in some way deal with one of these, then we can kill this. Oh, he's gonna heal it. Oh, he stole a fireball. That bastard. Ugh. So strong. Circle of healing? People use that card? My god. My god. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if I Kodo kills that, I 
Then Kodo would go down to one health against that. He could also Holy Nova to follow it up. If I flame strike, it's only four damage, which is would be fine, except I don't have enough mana to hero power to finish this. So I think Kodo is the best player. And then um I want to hero power that. I don't think I need to now. I will coin out Mere Entity though. I keep forgetting I have it because it kept getting hidden. So you can now mind control, which is always a, a scary time. Really? The cards he took were Flame Strike and Fireball. Unbelievable. Priests always do that. They never get shit cards. <laughs> they just get amazing stuff. Uh, All right. Well, now our choices are very limited, honestly. I think the play is Rocketeer and Mirror Image. Again, very susceptible to Holy Nova, but he doesn't need Holy Nova when he just takes my cards. <laughs> um, because I can't, I can't kill that thing on this turn. Is the basic deal. So I'll do five damage. Basically, I did five damage to the hero for six mana, which is pretty poor usually. If this survives this round, then it will have been a good play. But he has a lot of cards. Twilight Drake. Now the problem is, I think I get a 4-1. Oh, cool. It actually copied the buff version, so that's awesome. So Mirror Entity worked out. Oh, you gotta silence them. So he's probably planning for that. Okay, finally we can Flame Strike something. <laughs> um, so it kills that. That goes to two. That goes to three. The other option is to Archmage and Quantum Cold, but that's... Well, actually that would be okay. Because he wouldn't be able to heal all of them. What to do? He can maybe mind control though. Yeah, I'm going to play it that way. And then attack him for more damage. Because that's like, I mean, nine damage is a significant chunk for a round. And based on his minion health, unless he does a, a heal on all of them, most of them will die to our follow up flame strike. So that was the right play. I'm quite confident. Ah, there's the mind control. Bummer. But not surprising. <laughs> we could cut him cold again. Uh. But no, I don't think that's necessary. 
If we flame strike, we kill these two. That one gets to one. We ping it. We do nine damage. He'll be at five with a four seven facing our dudes. That seems fine. Cone of Cold would be the riskier play. We'd ping this and Cone of Cold those three, but he would have two spell damage. So, this is the safer play, I think. In the previous scenario, that it was better to Cone of Cold because we allowed, we were able to get the minions low enough to flame strike them this following turn, the one we just did. But in that last scenario, that wasn't necessary. It would have only helped us push this guy down. <laughs> He's going to shower pain or taunt just so he can kill 5-2. So that's pretty desperate, which is good for us. He doesn't have a lot of mana, though. That's a really good card. A <laughs> really massive dude. This is tough. Um, I think the play is to kind of cold that individual guy again in preparation for flame strike this turn, this next turn, because otherwise I would have to trade my dudes for it. And it's pretty obvious he doesn't have Holy Nova. He'd have to top deck it. He would have played it already. So I will do this. I have seven on the board. He will heal up to nine. So I think I have to hit him. Then he's going to have to choose... Oh, what am I saying? Heal up to nine. I forgot I didn't attack yet. So that was the wrong. Pl I should have fire blasted this, so it would be lower for flame strike. Yeah, well, he got a taunt, but Kodo counters that. So I think we got it. Yep. Again, pretty strong game. Oh, played. All right. Well, eight no. Can't complain there. Mm. My gold's getting a little low. I should probably retire it. But yeah, that was an, obviously a really strong run, and really, it's just due to the the spells that we got two blizzards two flame strikes two cone of colds like that's that's ridiculous board clear <laughs> and uh control and all that stuff the rest of our cards are you know all right like we have some decent two drops um two fireballs is good i would have preferred to have a poly Although we didn't face too many situations where we desperately needed it. But I can think of at least one or two times where it would have made things a lot less stressful. But yeah, anyway. Basically, good draft means mage is really strong. <laughs> so let's see how we did. And as I always mention, I like to retire at 8 to get extra gold. Just so I don't have to pay for my arena runs with actual money. Alrighty, so we got 14... Uh, 225 gold. And 40 dust. Eh, 
That's all right. Hmm. Some weak cards, though. Oh, well. Or, I mean, stuff I'm sure I had. Yeah. Okay, well. So that was a pretty successful mage run, I gotta say. Um, but as always, there'll be more of that coming up, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or whatnot. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please subscribe.